you can see I adjusted the fence so that the horses are gonna chew up a different place and allow that area to heal with the grass and herb and ligium seed I put in there. But there the horses gallop down into the field to get their grazing spot. Miss Daisy Rose is just over the brow of the hill right there. So they've got their fresh fenced off area of grazing. And this kind of grazing makes it so that the horses eat all the beneficial herbs, not just the sweet stuff. And they're doing a really good job. They're eating the docks, the thistles, and a lot of the herbs. They probably won't be back in this field till next year or even the year after. Because I think the horses weren't in here this year, uh, last year. There's Miss Daisy Rose. There she is, all grazing there, new fresh bit. Slowly but surely, they're grazing onwards and onwards. Isn't that right? You're just so excited about everything. You're just so excited about everything. Okay, on to more of today's job. just noticed as I was walking away from the horses that the dung beetles, the door dung beetles are still active. Here you can see this is soil. So there's a door dung beetle nest in there. Somewhere in there, a door dung beetle has dug a hole. There it is. There's the door dung beetle hole. Okay, I'm gonna cover it all. No, 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 don't roll in it. I know you love door dung beetles, but there comes a point where I don't want you rolling in manure. Excuse me. Nope, leave it. Leave it, old dogs, schnuff, schnuff. But the other sign that there's beetles active are those two holes there and there. Those are a different kind of dung beetle. You can see the hole there. So yeah, the dung beetles are still active. Look, there's another one. There's a door dung beetle evidence right there as well. Isn't that right? Yeah, you just so excited. Oh, everything's so exciting. Okay, ladies. First taste of real feeding now for the winter. No, go away. Oop, touch a scald. Have to treat them. But anyway, there they are. Come on, pups. Come on. <whistles> Java, come on. Good girl. I'm closing the gate because I want to check. Come on, pup. boy. Good girl. Boy. I want to check that uh, all the sheep are out of um, the woods. Uh, so I need to double check and I don't want them to follow me back because I'm closing off the woods now. <coughs> hey girls. The whole flock is here. <coughs> Nothing is in the woods. So I'm gonna let them back in the orchard. And they're also gonna get a bale of hay. Okay, girls. Go on. Come on. Brindle, come back. Good girl. Okay, there's loads of windfalls and the hay will add a uh, new feed for them. Hey, yeah. How are you, Kestrel? You beautiful girl. <laughs> Come here. Okay.
Oh, bear. You want to come up, huh? Now we're going to have an issue. <laughs> I open this and the sheep are going to come out again. But you're not supposed to come out. You're supposed to stay in there. Yep. See, they're all going to come through. Okay, come on. Come through. was very lazy and just put the ring feeder around that bale of hay and I took the outer edge this is an old this is last one of last year's bales of hay not harvested this year and the outer skirting I put in under there and a certain person's already said oh this is lovely and comfy I'll lie here on top of my food now they also got an this is a old mineral bucket but I've given them a new salt lick, a new mineral salt lick, and they're all crowding around it. It's one of these salt blocks. Whoops. <laughs> they're all crowding around it. There. It's one of those. Hey, 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 Inca, leave her alone. That was unnecessary. These are hanging here because the beams are low so that I don't bump my head. So all along here are these. So when you see them, you duck. So my head and that have met many times. That one over there as well, you can see. Anyway, look at this. They're loving this mineral lick. So I'm giving it to them to, um, I saw one and I said, ah, my sheep haven't had one of those in ages. They are literally fighting over it, which is great. It means they really need it. Anyway, everybody else is hanging out here. There's lots of apples to eat and grass. She's eating grass. So they've got a good mixed diet still at the moment. Mineral licks, hay, and it's good hay. Nothing wrong with it. I just take the outer edge of it because it's just slightly off color. But no, this is really nice, good hay that they'll be eating. There's no mold or anything in it. Mm. Smells good. So they can have that, but at the moment they're having more fun fighting over the mineral lick. So I'm well pleased with how um, this has turned out. What are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, you're such a beast. You're such a beast. Okay, job's done. More jobs done. Isn't that right? Time to go do something else. Another job to be done. Oh, uh, yes. No, you're not going to be coming down the laneway with me. You've already done that. Been there, done that. How are you? No, you don't want to talk to me. Okay. See you later, ladies. Okay. You guys are going out. But I want you to go up the laneway. Brindle, come back. Come on. No, 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 no. Go on, up the laneway. Brindle, come back here. No, 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 no. Dogs. There we go. Okay. Brindle, come back.
They're all getting turned out with the lambs now. So it's the lambs and the fly strike sheep are healed enough that I don't have to put cream regularly on them. Sheep are thrilled to be out. And the alpaca, we're just keeping them company during the storm. So they're gonna head off that way. Okay, these are my favorite dahlias that were in pots and I'm taking them out of the soil. They're um, the Bishop of Lundruff. I love them. But they're lovely colored leaves and uh, red, red flowers. But I've also been getting the salvias in and digging them up. So here's some of the salvias. These are two different ones with two different reds or pinks. And then these ones, oh, these beautiful, brilliant Amstead ones. I love them. I haven't planted them in yet, but I've just brought them in to protect them. Then there's these ones, these orangey ones, kind of burnt orange. Then there's this one, the beautiful blue ones, some of those. And then here's a whole load of different ones. These are, I think somebody told me these are hot lips. A lot of these are ones that people gave me. These are the ones that I'm propagating. Uh, and I'm propagating more behind there. But it's very crowded in here at the moment. So I've got to, I transplanted them. And they've been dumped with water. They're all looking slightly shook. But I need to also trim back all their foliage really tightly. And um, I brought them in whole because I didn't have time to do the try and propagate them as well. So they're in here, well watered, transplanted. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. I think there's 11 different kinds that I have here. So a lot of them were given to me as presents. So I love, and these ones are just so magnificent. So I'm, I really want to propagate loads of these because they are such a tall, beautiful, elegant plant. Here they are dug up here. Um, I've got to transplant them. Anyway, so busy. I've got to pick the last of my tomatoes. There's a few left. Um, uh, these are the rest of the plants that are in being protected from the cold and too much wet. My lemons! I'm going to have lemons later. My basil isn't doing so well. It doesn't like it very much. My cucumbers are pretty much finished. So I've got to dig all those out, dig all the tomatoes out. It's busy. It's a busy time, Autumn. So, oh, and I've got to take these inside and, um, collect seed. These are seeds that I want to collect. Okay. Yes. Very busy times. These are so beautiful. I am such a fan of these. They are just such a gorgeous color. I think they're called Amstad. Somebody I'm sure will correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the Amstad salvia. It is so beautiful. <laughs> the alpaca are here already. I didn't even have to call. The lambs have heard, seen the alpaca move. I think they're coming. You coming? Woo! Come on, babies! <laughs> well, there you go. All the lambs and the few fly struck yos that are recovering and the alpaca. So the whole crew's there. So this time yesterday, I was, hello, are you going to come and have a conversation with me? Hmm? Hmm? Are you going to come and have a conversation with me? No, you're going to go back. Okay. 
Um, I was saying how I'd lost stuff on my computer. I found it again. It took a while. I'd saved it as you do, but in a place I didn't know I was saving it to. So I had to find where I saved it. So all's well that ends well. I found my farm reports and writing that I was doing. So I could continue doing a bit of writing today once I found it. But then, as you've seen from this video, there was a lot going on today. So I had a busy day outside, which was good. Oh, are you coming to have a social? How are you? Hmm? Oreo Bloom and me. Isn't that right? You beautiful girl. <laughs> anyway, they're all having a lovely meal. And the alpaca's got a little bit. They got chased away from the rest, though. So, more writing tomorrow and more farm jobs. A few more farm jobs, anyway. How are you? You beautiful girl. You done? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, Brindle, come back here. Brindle, Brindle, leave it. Come on. Come on, you're done there. Come on. Come on. Go on. One, no. There's one behind. Come on. Woo! Andy, hey, leave it. There, they're all gone. Okay, I gotta close the gate. Job done. End of day. Close the gate. Yep. <laughs> no, you're not going to go in. No, you're not going to go in. No. I know. You're very sweet. Yeah. You're a lovely girl. You're one of the ones I'm keeping. For future breeding. You're such a sweetie. You're such a sweetie. Yeah. You're such a sweetie. Hello, you. Okay, I've got to close the gate, and that's going to take two hands. Yeah? Just so that you don't open the gate. Don't eat my finger. You're supposed to be a herbivore, not an omnivore. That's my finger. No, don't eat my finger. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you didn't like the taste of my finger, huh? <laughs>